peace, infinite waters diving deep once again. Hair, hair, hair. Cut your hair. Growing up, this was the thing. You go to the barber shop and you cut your hair. And I had this feeling growing up that having a lot of hair was not a good thing. You always have to have a low fade, as we call it. Have a grade one. Sometimes it was 0.5. Sometimes I even got it bold, close to bold. And a shiny head, you can smack that. And I just realized growing up that everyone would say, if you have a lot of hair, it's untidy. And now everything has changed because now I love my hair and I love the growth of hair and I just feel powerful with a lot of hair and I'm just realizing that now I'm never really going to cut my hair too low again because I understand or overstand the significance of hair. And on a deeper level, what I've come to realize is that hair is antennae. Hair has a purpose. The body has a reason for every part of itself. And hair keeps growing because when I was growing up, I would just cut my hair, cut my hair. And it would just grow back in a couple of weeks. So I'm like, I'm, I'm spending all of this money, the amount of money I've spent giving to barbers let me grow it because it's just growing back anyway and it's hard there's a lot of pressure there was a lot of pressure that I even put on myself just to cut my hair and now when I I see what hair is that on a deeper level and a lot of research has been done that hair is part of the nervous system it's an extension of the nervous system and essentially the hair that we have is transmitting vast amounts of information not only to the brain stem but to the limbic system and the neocortex of the brain in essence hair is a transmitter and receiver of energy it's a tracker it's basically it can sense things around our environment it's like a superhuman power and this is what has empowered me that i embrace my hair i realize that it's funny because growing up some people the talk of the town was if you don't cut your hair low then no one would want you women won't want you because you won't look fresh you won't look clean you won't look freshly shaven as they say so that was a program running inside me but it's amazing how things have changed because it's, it's the opposite now, because now a lot of women, they tell me, okay, keep growing your hair. This is amazing. It looks so good. So it's just amazing how things change and perception changes. But I'm just realizing more and more that the hair we have holds a deeper significance. And the ancients have always known that having a lot of hair connects them to help them open up their pineal gland even more. And... For me, I, I'm not so rigid to say, okay, someone that doesn't grow their hair is any less connected than someone that has a lot of hair. <laughs> no, I'm, I take a very open-minded approach. And I, I just realize that whatever people feel comfortable with is the most important thing because you can have short hair and still be as brilliant or as in tune with yourself in my mind to someone that has a lot of hair in essence is how because on a deeper level we are we are transformers we are alchemists we can do anything and that's how i see the human body has so much potential we can't just be restricted but for me i'm just sharing my journey and i've just realized that i have to embrace my hair because hair a lot of us even when you talk about research, scientific research, which has been done in the Karelian photography, which is like, that's the kind of photography which has been used to capture auras, energetic auras around the body. But that's even shown that people with a long, long hair, they have a different energy than people with no hair. When their hair is cut, it produces a whole different response, a whole different results come through. But I've just realized, okay, when I was growing up, why 
did everyone I, I know want to always cut their hair and even till this day there's a lot of barber shops opening up and everyone is just about cutting hair and sometimes even in the workplace it's how we get treated if you if you have a lot of hair then it's almost like okay it's it's just not a good thing and for me I, I just embrace hair and, and the more I see it it's that it's our attitude which is the most fundamental thing that we have because that's essentially producing the blood chemistry and once you accept yourself 100%, then really and truly it doesn't matter what hairstyle you have. But in, a, in essence, for me, it was more about when I was cutting my hair, I, I think back and say, okay, was I cutting my, my hair for myself or for other people? And this is the biggest question we have to ask ourselves. Are we doing things for ourselves or for the eye seeing of men? And back then, I was doing it for other people. It was more of a kind of vanity fair. Because, to be honest, I didn't want to cut my hair once every two weeks or, or, or spending almost so much money, like 50 pounds a month, just to look fresh and proper. But now, I'm realizing more and more that there's a deeper significance to the hair we have. And it is an antennae. It holds a deep, deep meaning. But at the same time, this is just something I've stumbled across on my journey and it's liberated me, it's freed me to realize that and to realize that the body has a reason for every part of itself. Nothing is created by accident. And for me, hair is almost like the leaves of a plant or the leaves of a tree. And some people say my afro looks like a plant <laughs> like a tree but for me I just embrace it and I feel anybody whatever you have whatever hairstyle that makes you comfortable embrace it 100% because at the end of the day it's the attitude we have on a molecular level how we see ourselves is the most fundamental thing but um, this is it and you hear stories even of Samson and Delilah, even in biblical texts. And a lot of these, some people will say that's just a story. But at the end of the day, it holds a fascinating clue that when he had a lot of hair, he had his strength. And when Delilah supposedly cut his hair, he had no strength. Even if this is just a fable, it still makes one question the significance of hair. And it's funny, even like beards and all of these things, a lot of men don't want to grow their beard. But at the same time, this is also an information highway, sending information to all parts of our bodies. But um, do whatever works for you. <laughs> this is not about uh, convincing people, it's about living your own truth and whatever you've stumbled across. Infinite waters in front of the sunshine is beautiful. Stay well, stay healthy. Peace.